The Coalition of United Political Parties, CUPP, has set aside about 3 million naira to support the dethroned Emir of Kanu, Mohammed Sanusi II, to seek legal redress following his banishment from Kanu State. The spokesperson of the CUPP, Ikenga Ugochuku, Ugochinere, while condemning the action by the Kanu State government, said the act is barbaric and a flagrant violation of the deposed Emir's fundamental rights. Ugochinere urged the ousted monarch to seek compensation over what he described as executive lawlessness. The banishment is a barbaric and mundane assault on Emir, Emir Sanusi's human rights as a Nigerian citizen, a man who was caught on video stuffing dollars in his pocket like this, in his Babariga, supported by the Buhari APC to manipulate his way to power, despite public rejection, shamelessly sat as a moral judge, both as accuser and judge, and passed sentence of determinant and banishment on the people's emir in view of the illegality. We urge the people's emir to seek redress in court to set aside this barbaric and ob obnoxious action for the good of the nation and others who may be silenced and treated like him. In the event of going to court, the opposition coalition have set aside the sum of three million naira only as independent contribution to his legal team to help in seeking redress against this obnoxious and barbaric attack on our constitutional democracy and traditional institution by a gang of incompetent and shameless institution destroyers. With me in the studio to analyze what many will describe as a political crisis in Kansas State is social commentator Saidu Basheru. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Uh, what's your take on all of this development in Kansas State? Well, with the dethronement, First, I would like to say that um, we need to understand the man uh, Sanusi, Lamido Sanusi, and Muhammad Sanusi. Sanusi, Lamido Sanusi would get away with, you know, aggressive utterances, you know, change. But as Muhammad Sanusi, the utterances and action he takes would have far-reaching consequences. And that is what has played out here, because you can see definitely has ruffled some feathers in Kano, uh, Council of Ulamas, the politicians, and uh, maybe the Emirate Council. So the effect is what we're seeing. Uh, however, I must note that it also has uh, far-reaching consequences in terms of you know, the heritage itself, because it has further weakened that institution, that's the sanctity of that emir, emirship, if you like. You know, so it is very unfortunate. Uh, but uh, if you ask me, I would say that uh, he must have seen it coming. What are the possible reactions from elites in that area, considering that um, the um, deposed emir was one of them and he spoke out against issues that many say contributed to his being dethroned? Well, uh, I would say it will depend on which camp you belong to. There are some people who are conservatives who would, you know, otherwise be happy with uh, the development. And there are some people that would, uh, that would support his advocacies, you know, for change. And uh, so, yeah, the reaction would be mixed, if you ask me. Um, Kano, in my opinion, is not ready for uh, the kind of leadership Sanusi, Mohammed Sanusi wanted to bring to bear. And um, I think in the coming years, they begin to see uh, the person that they've lost in the Emir. Yeah, it, it, the, the lawyers, even though the um, Sanusi has said he has accepted the will of God, it was God, Allah that put him in that position, and it's Allah that's taking uh, the position away. His lawyers are saying that they are going to seek legal redress um, about his banishment to Nasrawa State. There's also talk about reversing the dethronement. Are these possible? Well, um, he did say that he's accepted uh, dethronement as an act of God. However, um, they are contesting the banishment. But I also want to point out that the banishment is not new. There are precedents to this. They have done that with uh, the 
his last sultan, his grandfather, the sultan of Sokoto, they did that as practice. And outside the country, too, in other climes, we've seen this with the, uh, in the British uh, monarchy, the king that was, you know, banished to France. So it's not an unusual practice. However, in our modern day um, realities, I think um, it's, um, it's, it is uh, surprising that we would still uh, practice such outdated uh, uh. what do you make of the fact that barely 24 hours after his banishment he's getting appointments uh, to come lead teams he's, some are also saying that it's a blessing in disguise because he was not his in his um, intellectual capacities were not being maximally utilized as an emir um, Sanusi is a very cerebral person um, yes, um, I'm not surprised. I've even heard rumors of uh, people, you know, already beating drums for presidency or vice yes, president. Yes, there's, there's even there's even a WhatsApp picture, a WhatsApp picture already. There's, there's, there's a whole lot, but we need to uh, understand what the this banishment, what it really means. Would it restrain his uh, uh, movement? Movement with association, political, like even the appointment that he has been uh, given? Would he be? Does it to... mean he cannot leave Nasrawa State well, or travel somewhere? Banishment, as it is, is more like house arrest. You know, so he's restricted in ways within the confines of that locality that he's been. Uh, restricted to. How is that possible in this 21st century? That's the tradition that we have carried on and... Um, the can't traditions be changed? Absolutely, that's what he was trying to do that got him out in the first place. You know, challenging the norms and practice of our, oh, our forefathers. Uh, look, we need to empower women, we need to uh, modernize the al Majrinchi system, which in itself is not a bad thing, but the begging is what he was you know, advocating uh, okay. against, you know. So, yes, uh, there are some practices that we must do uh, away with, but that's the reality now. I is it possible that this case could set a precedence when it comes to um, a, an em a dethroned emir being exiled or any traditional ruler being exiled in this country if his lawyers are able to pull through? Absolutely. Um, he has every, because our Nigerian constitution supersedes all our cultural practices and norms. So if they challenge it and they're successful, this will set precedence for other um, uh, leaders, kings who would be deposed in this, in this manner. What do we know about the new emir? Well, the new emir is, um, is very popular with his uh, subjects. They like him in Kano. Um, I remember when uh, Sonusi was... Uh, uh, announced? Announced. I mean, it, there was rancor because they preferred uh, Aminu, but um, I see him conforming with traditional, he would not roughen the feathers. However, uh, Sanusi has set standards, high standards for him. So we would see how things develop. How things develop. That. Thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us on the news. Thank you.